Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me Tobias here and today I'm gonna be doing something that's been long overdue for my car for a long time and that's gonna be repairing the damaged clear coat on the hood and roof of my car. So check it out guys, for today's video we're just gonna be doing the hood. You kinda see the damage right there, it's like all flaking off and peeling. And then of course the roof is just as bad Actually, the roof is worse, but I'm going to save that for another day. So today we're just going to tackle the hood because I've never done this before, and I feel like the hood's going to be easier than doing the roof. I'll save the roof for another day after I know what I'm doing. And where I learned how to do this is from the Ratchets and Wrenches YouTube channel. He's a car YouTuber, he does videos on DIY car repairs, and he did a video on da repairing damaged clear coat, and um, he listed the products that you're gonna need. So I went ahead and bought the products that I would need. I have them right here. So this is all the stuff I bought right here, but for this video, I think we're only going to use this, the Scotch-Brite pad, these microfiber sponges, and these are the, the clear coat spray. And this is 2K clear coat, and it comes with a hardener. So what you do is you have to take this this like top off and pop it down in the middle so that the hardener will mix with the clear coat. At least that's how I understand it works. And once again, guys, I'm going to link all these down in the description. So if you want to do this yourself, check the links down in the description. This is what you're going to need. I'm going to be doing the entire hood. But if you just have a small portion of clear coat that's damaged, you don't need to clear coat the whole thing. There's a way you could do it. You can clear coat just that area and then blend it into your old clear coat. And that's actually why I bought like this and this fine sandpaper and this wool pad because I thought I was going to do that. But after looking at my hood, I feel like the damage is so big I might as well just do the entire hood. So first things first guys, we're going to have to wash the area that we're going to repair.
and then I wet sanded it and look it's really working like all of this old clear coat came off like the majority of it came off from over here it's working really well I still have a pretty long way to go but at least I'm making some progress I might also go ahead and mask off some other stuff like I put some plastic on the Celica so that you know the wind might not take any of the clear coat and get stuck to that car. So yeah mask off anything you don't want clear coat on because this could be a messy job. Before I start let's just take a minute and look at how good this looks so far like compared to how it was guys if you guys remember at the beginning of the video like how bad the clear coat damage was. Let me give you a look at the roof real quick. Ooh, that's pretty bad. And the hood was probably almost as bad as that. Maybe half as bad as that, but I mean, like, I think I did a pretty good job of getting rid of that white, flaky old clear coat. Also, guys, earlier I was talking about using these microfiber sponges. Um, I've just been using regular microfiber towels, and they seem to work, like, way better. They're bigger. I think they're just better. I'm going to go ahead and link those down in the description below, as well as every other product that I'm using in this video. I'm going to go ahead and link everything in the description below in case you want to buy them to do this project yourself. <laughs>
just did, I kind of feel like my strokes weren't as even. <laughs> looks pretty good I think I mean of course you see the darker spots where you know I removed a lot of, of dirty old flaky clear coat but I mean it looks 10 times better than it did before um, I did an extra fourth layer at the end just because I felt like my first coat wasn't that strong so like I felt like I should do another one just to make sure it got enough but yeah guys it's super shiny so it's kind of hard to see how it looks right now but yeah, once it dries, I'm going to take off all the, the stuff I used to mask off the rest of the car. I'll take all that stuff off and show you guys how it looks. Hey, what's up guys? So it's two days later. I left my car sitting in the garage drying for the past two days. I didn't drive it or anything. And um, so yeah, it's all dry now. So I drove it outside of the garage so we could see how the new clear coat looks in the sun. And I got to say, I am very satisfied with the results. Check this out. Ta-da! Check it out guys, looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm so happy with the way it came out. I mean, if you look close, you could still see, you know, the darker spots where the clear coat was completely removed. But I mean, it looks so good. It looks really good. I can't wait to get started on the, on the roof next. But it looks pretty good. All right guys, so I'm like really happy with the way that came out. Like I'm, I couldn't have asked for better results for the amount of money I spent. I think it might've costed, I think it was around a hundred dollars for all the supplies that I needed to do that. But I still have another can of clear coat that I did not use. 
and um, I bought a couple other things that I ended up not using. So I mean, less than a hundred bucks to repair that clear coat. Once again, I'm gonna link all the supplies that I use down in the description below if you wanna check them out. And if you've never seen a video of mine before, my name's Tobias, I do all sorts of videos, reviews, cover songs, vlogs, car related videos, pond videos. I do a lot of types of videos and I encourage you to go check out my channel. If you like what you see there, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give me a like, that helps me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh, and stay tuned for when I do the roof of the car. That's going to make a huge difference to how my car looks. All right. Peace, guys.